Hey loves, it's your girl Serena here with T-shirt and heels and I am back with another video on how I did my acrylic fill-in with my nail strip tutorial. Guys, I've been missing an action a little bit but it's because I've been good busy so sorry about that but I am back and in business. So the first thing we want to do before starting any type of nail application is you want to prep the nails. These nails were looking horrible. I definitely was in need of the fill-in. And so I sat down at my nail bar and started prepping. So I got my Q, um, cotton balls, not Q-tips, out along with my acetone polish remover that I get from Walmart. I usually buy these two at a time because I am always doing my nails. I love doing my nails. Even before quarantine, I've always been a self-nail doer. So with this, you want to take your cotton ball, put the acetone on that bad boy, and get to working that polish off of your nails. With this type of polish, it is like a darker color. It's not, not technically a red, but it is a dark red. So what you want to do is you just want to kind of be patient because it takes a little bit to get that color off. And you're going to need to use more than one cotton ball to do it. As you see here, I am definitely trying to strip the color off of the nail. And I'm going to apologize in advance for the fact that some of this video, I'm like in and out of frame. This is my very first nail tutorial type of video. So bear with me, guys. I promise I'm going to get better. But this nail application came out so good that I didn't want to just scrap the whole video. I said, well, I'll just kind of suffer through it. So don't give me too many thumbs down, guys. Okay. So once you get all of the nail polish off, what you want to do is you want to take a uh, file, a regular, just I think this is a 100 grit uh, by 180 grit file, and I am filing down my nails. I like to do this and buff my nails before I go in with my electric nail file because it just helps to allow me not to having to use that electric file a lot. Plus I wanted to file my nails down and I do file my nails down manually with my buffer and file. I just don't, you know, I, I just am not a real big fan of using that electric file all the time for everything. So as you can see here, I sped the video up, but I am going to town y'all. I am really buffing these nails and getting everything uh, file down because they were getting so long they were impeding my ability to type. I do work on a computer every single day and so sometimes it just gets in the way. So all of that filing is done and now we're moving on to the electric file. I got this electric file from Amazon and I will leave the link in the description box but it is so lovely. It came with all of these attachments and I'm going to start off with a larger cylinder attachment and I'm going to get that all put together so that I can go to town with filing my nails again, just getting all of that old acrylic off. And it has an adjustable speed and rotation uh, that you can change it. So I'm going to start, I'm left-handed, so I'm starting with my right hand. And it's on medium speed and I am filing down that old acrylic. I'm going around my nail beds, I'm getting my cuticles. I just want to get as much of that old acrylic off as possible before I do a fill-in. It helps keep my fill-in nice and smooth and it doesn't get bulky. And that way I don't have to do a fill-in uh, multiple times or my fill-ins last a long time guys like trust me it does and so I'm moving on to the second finger I'm just doing the same thing I'm moving rather quick trying not to cut myself so if you're a newbie at using an electric file I'm gonna tell you now be very very careful I would suggest starting off on a lower speed than I'm using it I've been doing my nails like this for about a year now so I'm almost a pro at doing my own nails with an electric file. I only cut myself one time during this video and it was only on my thumb, which my thumbs are rather large for a female. So a lot of times I do get a lot of nicks and bumps on my thumbs out of all of my nails. That's the only nail that gives me a lot of trouble because my nails get a little fat around the cuticle area and it's kind of hard to push that fat down. So after I go ahead on and go in with my larger uh, cylinder buff, I go with a smaller one and just get really uh, into those cuticle areas and start focusing on the tip of the nail. And 
as you can see, I've moved on to the second hand, so you can kind of see that I do know how to be a little ambidextrous here. But once I finish all of my filing, I like to dust off that residue with a buffer brush. I just got this from the dollar store. It's just a regular old makeup brush. But I like to dust it off before moving on to my dip powder acrylic application. So what I use is I use Dip Well. It is a natural pink color that I use to do my fill-ins. I find this easier than using uh, the acrylic method. I use a Cusio primer. I do have Cusio dip powder. I just use this for this video because I didn't have any dip well. Um, this is the bond. This is what you're gonna use to bond the acrylic powder. And this is the activator. So I'm gonna activate that. There is a step three because as you can see that said two and four. Uh, but I don't use step three at all in any of my dip powder applications because I feel like it makes the powder too thick. I only use uh, the two because it's nice and thin and it does the trick and it allows me to put on multiple coats without uh, getting all bulky. And if you are a dip powder connoisseur like myself, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So again, sorry for it being a little bit out of frame, but I am putting the primer around the part of my nail that's showing of my physical nail. And that's gonna be at the bottom because it is a fill-in, it is not a full application or I would have put it on the full nail. So now I'm gonna go in with the uh, two, I'm gonna shake it up, but I'm gonna go in with my two and four, which is the bond. I like to call it the glue because technically it kinda is glue. Uh, it glues the acrylic onto the nail. So this is how the acrylic powder stays onto the nail. So I'm gonna put it on the whole nail. And again, this is a little out of frame, but you'll see on the second nail that I do that you'll be able to see me put it on this on the whole thing. I dip it in at an angle into the dip powder just so that it can coat that bonding glue. And then I just tap it. Look at that, guys. It, it, I love dip powder because it's so easy and I can definitely get my nails looking very professional. So as you can see in this frame, this is in frame. So I have it on the whole nail. I'm starting from my cuticle area. And make sure if you get any around the finger, all that shouldn't be there, clean that off before you dip it in the powder. Because if not, then it's gonna adhere to your finger and it's gonna overlap and you don't want that because it'll mess up your dip powder set. And you just continue this same method on for all of your fingers until you are done. And then you just wipe off the residue in between layers. I'd usually do two layers. So I would do that step two times. And I did that step two times when I did my nails for this video, but I'm not gonna make it extremely long. Now I'm gonna to top both of those layers with the bond glue again, because this is what you need to do to adhere that uh, acrylic powder on. And you wanna make sure you're getting it on the sides as well as the top, because you want it on all the acrylic powder. See how I'm turning my finger and making sure it's getting on that side so that it will set that acrylic powder. And look how shiny and pretty this and natural this looks as I'm putting this top coat bond on there. Doesn't that look good, guys? I did a good job. I, I love doing my nails. I always do such a great job on my nails. It is a learning curve. So if you do this for the first time, don't be upset at yourself uh, because, you know, you really, it takes time to learn how to do it yourself. Um, but you wanna sit in front of a fan for about two minutes so that you can let that bond glue really dry on your nails. I have this little fan, I'll also link this in the description that I got from Amazon. And then last thing you wanna do is you wanna activate that powder. So you wanna put, after it dries, you wanna put this on very similarly to how you put on the primer, but you're gonna put this on the whole nail, the whole shebang. You gotta put it on the whole nail. And it's really thin like the primer. It's kind of a weird consistency. So that's why I'm putting it on kind of funky looking like this. But I, sometimes I go over the nail multiple times just to make sure that it's on there. I wanna make sure that that activator is getting all on that whole nail because I want the nail to be hard. 
and not soft because uh, once you start filing oh my god you don't want that to come off so after I do that I let it sit for two minutes as you can see I'm putting it on my smart watch my Fitbit and there you have it they are nice and dry and I buff them and now it's time for my nail strip application and I you know did not show you the step of me buffing them because it's the exact same thing that I did in the beginning of this video. I just do that again to the nails just to kind of buff that uh, acrylic down and smooth that acrylic down. So what you want to do with the nail strips is you want to measure them according to your nail. Okay, so when you measure them according to your nail, you're making sure that they're going to cover the whole nail, the sides and everything. The great thing I love about these strips is that they stretch. Like I said, I have very large nail beds and they stretch across my nail bed um, and they look great. Like they really do, in my opinion, look really, really good when you put them on and they're really easy to put on. I am an ambassador for Apple Girl Nails, and I will leave the link to my uh, uh, link to Apple Girl Nails, but it's my affiliate page in the description box below. This is called Sand and Sky, and I've had these nail strips for a while. I haven't really been doing a lot of nail strips, but I said I want to definitely get into doing my nail strips, and so... I decided to do them for this quick, and this was like at 10 o'clock at night, guys. So I definitely wanted to do something quick, something that wasn't going to take a whole long time because I had somewhere to be the next day. So after I have them all set out, I take alcohol and I spray my nails because I want to give the nail strips a great surface to adhere to. So I spray my nails down and then I wipe my nails with a paper towel just to make sure there's no residue, no oils, no nothing on your nails, guys, because you want these nail strips to stick. Um, that is the key. You want them to stick down. The better they stick, the longer they'll last, and the better that they will look for the duration of the time that you have your manicure, okay? So once you do that, you take the very first one for your thumb and you pull back the clear coating. You must pull back the clear coating. Take off the strip from the backing and it's kind of easy to do. It's not hard. It just, for me, I have nails. So, but you peel that strip off of the backing. Try not to handle it too much, but you lay it down and you want to make sure you get it on that side. Uh, it's kind of out of frame. Again, I apologize, but I'm making sure that I'm getting it on the side and I'm stretching it, guys. It came off my nail when I tried to stretch it the first time, but I did stretch it across my nail. And when I bring it back into frame, you'll actually see how smooth it is and how it is literally from side to side. So these do stretch, okay? They've got some stretch to them. Um, and they are 100% nail polish. And then I fold it over and I'm steady smoothing, smoothing, smoothing. You definitely want to smooth these strips on your nails. Guys, I'm going to get better with these videos. I promise. But as you can see, look at there. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, I'm smoothing. Oh, guys, see that? Look at that. It looks so good. And then I'm taking my file that I got from them. They actually send you some cool, like, free stuff and I am filing the edge off. So I'm filing below the nail strip on the bottom half and you see it just comes right off. So now and then I'm folding it over my nail just making sure that it's sticking. Look at that. Flawless guys. Flawless application. And as you can see it didn't take me a long time to get the, get it on but the key to this is continuously smoothing it. So I'm going to move on to the second nail and I'm going to do the same thing. You just continue to do the same thing over and over again. Again, practice makes perfect, guys. Do not expect to get this right on the first application, okay? If you, if you think you're going to get this completely right on the first application, you are wrong. You might and you might not, but just have some patience. 
Do this when you don't have any distractions, no kids running in and out, no husbands needing you to do anything. I suggest that you do these right before bed, mainly because you're not going to be doing anything right before bed and they have time to adhere. Um, again, I did this literally at night. I had already put my hair up. I had already taken my makeup off. So the only thing I needed to do after doing my nails was literally get in the bed. And as you can see, I smooth, smooth, smooth it down. Yes. So that is all on my nails. It did not take me a long time to apply them to all of the nails. And I continuously, continuously smooth them onto the nail. Because the key here at this point is that they adhere. Look how nice they look. This is even before uh, any type of clear coat polish to seal them. Look how shiny they are. They don't even look like they need a clear coat polish. I just put clear coat on it so that it will last a long time. But technically, you don't have to. You really don't. They, they are gorgeous. I love my strips. You want to make sure you at least let them set for 30 minutes. I was a little overzealous and I decided to sit and watch TV for 35 minutes because I definitely wanted them to adhere before putting my clear coat on because I do like to put clear coat on mine. Again, you don't have to. I did, while I was waiting, uh, staple the remaining strips uh, into the pack so I can put them back. I use them for like when I want to do mixed manis with throwing a little pop of color with just some fingernail polish. Uh, so I save my extras and I, I reuse them. Let's take a moment while we're waiting to give homage to this nail bar, guys, that I have set up. I have all of my Apple Girl nail strips that I have purchased from them. Oh, look at this. Oh, so many different colors, so many great patterns. They have Halloween patterns and there's a sale going on right now. The link and all that information will be in the description box. You definitely do not want to miss out on this Halloween sale. I will be ordering me some strips for Halloween, so definitely get. And they're really fast at shipping, so I have my little toe separators. I have everything, guys. I have stuff for my uh, gel nails. I have stuff for my dip powder, and I have my, you know, gel uh, UV light, all of my accessories. I try to keep everything organized. And I didn't show this, but to the left, there's a whole lot of nail polish and dip powders that I have on a shelf. Now it's on to doing the clear code. I was trying to decide which one I wanted to use. So I decided on the Sally Hansen No Chip Clear Nail Polish. I like this nail polish because it's nice and thin. It doesn't um, take a long time to dry. And so I just go ahead on and I just polish over top of the strip and I make sure I seal the tip. That is important, okay? Seal the tip so that it doesn't start receding back. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I do like to seal my nail strips. But again, you don't have to because then once they are adhered, <laughs> they're not going anywhere, okay? Once they've had time to adhere, they are definitely not. And I made a little mess here with this when I got a little overzealous with the clear, but it's okay. I just wiped it off of my nail and just kind of smeared it onto my area. I do put something down when I tip, technically do my nails, but this time I, I wanted you guys to focus on the nails and not whatever I was going to put down to uh, save my table. But it's okay. It's an old desk that I'm using as my nail bar, so it's not a big deal deal if something gets on it or it gets messed up. I'm not going to cry. So yes, guys, this is like so relaxing. I love doing my nails because it really, really is a stress reliever for me. Whew, so yeah, I do that. And then I sit in front of my fan and I let these bad boys drag. Let them drive at least 15 minutes. But that is it, guys. This manicure did not take a long time. I love it. It's going to last me through my typing and everything. So, guys, thank you for bearing with this video. Like, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Don't be too harsh in the comments because this is my first nail tutorial and I promise I will get better. Please be sure to check out more videos. I love you guys. Hope you're having a wonderful week. See you on the next video.